Welcome back to the show. Karen's taking over right now. Oh, I am? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Go what ahead. It's your okay. show. Whatever. Anyway, James Pruitt and Darcy Didden are here, and they're with the Ozark Woodturners. And you've got a, a big show coming up December. Is it December 5th? Did I get that right? It is December the 5th at the uh, Mountain Home Fairgrounds. Is that a weekend date? It's on a Saturday okay. from 9 to 4. 9 to 4. And uh, is there a group of woodturners in the area that you can tell us about? Uh... Our club. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, we meet uh, once a month on the third Saturday at uh, Lakeview Civic Center. Okay. And we've got about 65 members in our club, and they're from the northern part of Arkansas, mostly Mountain Home, Lakeview, North Fork area. Mm -hmm. We've got some coming down from Missouri and some down at uh, Mountain View that come up for our meetings. Okay. So, and it's open to men and women. Mm -hmm. It's open to men and women, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> as evident. Of, of, and, uh, and we've even got a, a young 13-year-old uh, yeah. individual just signed up for the club, and uh, he's going to be a wood turner. We hope. Okay. How, how does one become a wood turner? Is that is it a skill that you learn just from someone else, or is there a primarily? Class? Yeah, it helps to have a, a mentor or a tutor. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, there's a lot of videos and a lot of books around, mm -hmm. and. You can teach yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some might be able to. I'm not sure I could, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It really is. There, and, uh, there was a, a series on educational TV not too long ago, and I watched several weeks of that. And it's there's there's a lot of techniques. Absolutely. In, uh, you've got examples <laughs> here. <laughs> uh, take for example this. Uh, I wouldn't even have a clue how that was made. I mean, it's got so many different inlays, but there's turning involved too. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's inside turning and outside turning. And that's segmented yes. turning. Yeah. Segmented turning. So there are rings of wood that are segmented together mm -hmm. that stack. Yeah. You want to hold that stack? in front of you there? There you go. Um, now, uh, the, what? how long does that take? What, 30 minutes? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just insulted you. Yeah. It <laughs> probably would take 30 minutes to dream up what you wanted to turn. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm. Well, with, and, the different, with the different patterns in there, I mean, you have to really seriously stop and think. Is there any math involved in something like that? Absolutely. Is there really? There is, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah there's there's measuring, gluing, by, uh, you know, uh, there's a whole series of steps long before ever well, putting yeah. this piece on really? the lathe. Mm -hmm. And, and do, you get this do you design. have uh, plans or is it just something that's up here and you create? Are there it helps to have a plan, okay. as any other thing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times, uh, what you started out with on the lathe because mm -hmm. of a mistake or uh, a, fa a faulty piece of wood or something, mm -hmm. a lot of times you have to change your design a little bit. But sometimes those changes improve mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. you were going to do. Une unexpected uh, cr creation right. going on. And you mm -hmm. talked about uh, defects in the wood. Do you experience that from time to time? And do you have to throw away a piece? When you have a knot in a piece of wood. In the wrong that, spot, that can right? throw you off or on a natural edge bowl. Oh, like this one here. Like that. If you hold that out of the camera. Let if you're lucky, the bark is well adhered and stays in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when you put a tool to it, the, the bark may go flying to the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, and the whole purpose of this design here is to keep a natural edge yeah. of the bark all and the way around. And you said this was sassafras? Mm -hmm. This is sassafras, yes. And the different colors is not really inlay, it's just the, the it's grain of the wood or the different... This colors. out here is the bark. Okay. This is the bark, and this is the, this is the tree, okay? okay? And this is the bark on the outside. And this was growing in this direction, up, down, and uh -huh. side. This is the outside of this the wood. This would be the center of the tree here. This would be toward mm -hmm. the center of the tree. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And that color is natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the natural That's not been colorized. Bark. That's the natural <laughs> bark that's been cut. This, yeah, is, this uh, side here is uncut wood. Mm -hmm. It's just natural bark. What you see when well, you see I, it. Well, I guess you, you, you kind of uh, take your a piece of art in hand when you go to cut into something like that that's you don't know if it's going to go flying across the room or not right right uh, you have to uh, learn from experience on a lot of this stuff but uh, you always approach a piece of wood with caution mm -hmm. especially if it has bark 
some of the bark is loose, some of it is well adhered to the wood, mm -hmm. but uh, you have to be careful and always wear safety glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I'd imagine there's some kind of, some woods that you don't want to use, is that right? Uh, or can you use any wood? You can use most any wood. There are some woods that work better, mm -hmm. you know, on the lathe than other woods. Uh, oak is not a good wood to turn on the lathe. It splinters a lot, comes okay. apart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but most of the hardwoods, uh, the maple and the hickory and walnut, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, and this is all the stuff you learn at your little at your at your uh, little events that are your meetings. meetings. And how often do you have those? We have them once a month. Once a month. I'm gonna let Darcy talk. I'm getting dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have a class that is given to uh, to anybody that uh, joins the club, and the class will teach you all of the proper use of your tools. The uh, mm -hmm proper use of your lathe, the maintenance of your lathe, taking care of it, um, and, and safety, upmost, you know, is, is the safety. Um, and the woods, I turn myself with a lot of exotic woods, and you have to be very aware of what woods are toxic and which ones aren't. There's respirators that you can oh, wear, right. okay. and face mask that you wear for mm -hmm. flying wood. Um, but the toxic, you know, the toxic woods, you, you really have to think about the mm -hmm. sawdust that is uh, being made yeah. and what you're breathing, mm -hmm. you know. So there's you, a lot you, to it. Do you and buy your wood pieces or do you go acquire it? We do it a lot of swapping and trading. Oh, and <laughs> and we so at the purchase meetings, do people bring pieces of wood to maybe yeah. do some swapping around? Mm -hmm. And the exotics yeah. are ordered in for the most okay. part. I do a lot of small items, especially pens, uh, uh, many, uh, most of my pens are made with exotic woods, and mm -hmm. I do order those in. Okay. From, so I've got... And the I've smaller the piece, the less, the, the less <laughs> expensive it gets to be. Uh, it depends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can pay a lot of money for... <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. 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 Well, let's talk about your show. It's coming up December 5th. It's going to be at the Baxter County Fairgrounds, and you've got how many, how many people coming, or how many vendors will be there? Uh, we've got about uh, 10 to 12, we're not real sure yet, but 10 to 12 uh, wood turners will have uh, tables, display items for sale. Will there be demonstrations too? Mm -hmm. Anybody actually turning? Yes, we will. Yep. And now uh, we'll have uh, two and possibly three wood carvers also have been invited to come and participate in our show. Okay. So. Good. Is there yeah. admission to get in or? It's free. Free to get in. It's free. And to everybody get in. will have all the vendors will have things for sale. Absolutely. So another opportunity for Christmas shopping, yeah. Dan. I'm just mm. saying. Mm. <laughs> what are the hours? How much is that pen over there? <laughs> <laughs> what are the hours on your? I shop? tell you, Darcy sells those at a real bargain. I bet she I does. Do. Yeah. yeah, she does. That's <laughs> actually Beautiful. an acrylic pen. We turn acrylic as well oh, as really? wood. Yeah. Really? So hmm. that that's a that particular pen is acrylic. Okay. Well, anything off this table, okay. I would accept under my Christmas tree from you. Okay, how saying. about that? So, so nine, <laughs> nine, to four nine, yeah. four. nine to four o'clock. Nine to four. Nine to four o'clock on Saturday. At the at the Baxter County Fairgrounds. And everyone is invited, uh, of course. And uh, we also will take uh, applications for new members. Okay. There, if someone is interested right. in becoming a member of our club. And if you're coming, please, uh, if you're interested, ask questions. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's how we got joined up. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a it's probably a, a a craft that you can learn at any age, right? Uh, I'd say probably from ten of a, on up. Okay. All right. Even to us old guys. Start a new career. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Beautiful. Appreciate well, it. Thank it's you for beautiful. inviting us. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Good luck it's with that. Fun. That's December the 5th at the Baxter County Fairground. That's the Wood Turners. Uh, what's it called? Ozark Wood, Wood Turners Club. Ozark Show Wood Turners. Show and Sale. Show and Sale. All right. Yeah. Up next, we're going to be talking with uh, Debbie Womack from Kindness Incorporated. Stay with mm -hmm. us.